South Korea's Hanwha Defense Systems is vying to fulfill the Australian Army's Land 400 Phase 3 requirement with its evolved tracked infantry fighting vehicle IFV, the AS-21 Redback. This new platform, based on the K-21 IFV already in service with the South Korean Army, offers an upgraded and highly capable solution to replace Australia's current ASLAV, Australian Light Armored Vehicle, and M113 AS-4 Armored Personnel Carrier APC, fleets. Named after the infamous Australian Redback Spider, the AS-21 is poised to meet the demands of Australia's future combat environments. Australia's Land 400 program is a multi-phase project designed to modernize the Australian Army's armored vehicle fleet. It seeks to replace both wheeled and tracked platforms with modern, versatile alternatives capable of facing evolving threats. The program is divided into four phases. 1. Phase 1 Project Definition Study PDS, setting the scope and requirements for new armored vehicles. 2. Phase 2 Mounted Combat Reconnaissance Capability completed with the Rain Metal Boxer CRV selection. 3. Phase 3 mounted close combat capability, the current phase aiming to replace the ASLAV and M113 AS4 fleets. 4. Phase 4, integrated training system, supporting systems to train personnel for new vehicles. The AS21 Redback is competing in Phase 3, which focuses on selecting a vehicle to provide infantry mobility and firepower while ensuring crew survivability and adaptability in future combat scenarios. First unveiled at the 2018 Ground Forces Exhibition, the AS-21 follows a traditional tracked vehicle layout. It features six double-tired road wheels on each side of the hull, a well-sloped glassy plate for frontal protection, and slab-sided armor enhanced with armored skirts to shield the upper portions of the tracks. The vehicle's turret is fully traversable, providing a complete 360-degree range of motion for targeting threats. One of the standout features of the AS-21 is its Active Protection System, APS, which will be integrated to provide automatic defense against incoming missiles and rockets. This system adds a critical layer of survivability for both the crew and the vehicle. The AS-21 has improved crew and system survivability compared to the K-21, reflecting the evolving demands of modern warfare. The vehicle has an operating crew of three, a driver, commander, and gunner, with additional seating for up to eight combat-ready infantrymen in the rear. This capability makes the AS-21 a formidable solution for transporting troops safely into the battle zone, supporting dismounted infantry operations with direct fire support, and performing other mission-critical roles. The AS-21 Redback is armed with a 40mm autocannon mounted on the turret, giving it significant firepower for engaging both armored and unarmored targets. A 7.62mm coaxial machine gun is also fitted alongside the autocannon to provide additional suppression against infantry and light vehicles. For battlefield smoke screening, the vehicle can deploy up to 10 smoke grenade dischargers, 5 on each side of the turret. While official details regarding the AS-21's powertrain remain limited, it is expected to be powered by a turbocharged diesel engine. This engine would provide an estimated road speed of 70 km h and a reduced speed of 40 km h when moving cross-country, highlighting the vehicle's versatility across various terrains. Its operational range is projected to reach up to 500 km, allowing it to operate over extended distances without the need for immediate resupply. The AS-21 Redback is a compelling option for the Australian Army's Land 400 Phase 3 program. With its blend of advanced armament, modern protection systems, and enhanced crew survivability, it aligns well with the demands of future combat environments. The vehicle's capacity to carry a large number of infantry, combined with its robust firepower and mobility, ensures it is more than capable of fulfilling Australia's need for a next-generation infantry fighting vehicle. As the competition progresses, the AS-21 will be judged alongside other contenders to determine which vehicle best fits the evolving operational needs of the Australian Army, potentially marking a new era for Australia's armoured vehicle fleet.